What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another edition of Currency Counts where I cover all things money. In today's video, we're gonna go over why buying furniture and appliances from a place like Rena Center might seem like a good idea because they are offering credit approval to those with bad credit, but in reality, you're gonna pay a lot more in the long run. So we're gonna do a little bit of math and go over the terms and see what you're really gonna be paying for this furniture. All right, so I'm here at their website, 12 months to own. Just make your low weekly payments and own it in 12 months or less. All right, let's start with furniture deals. They even sell phones, how about that? All right, so they do have a same as cash option. So if you go in the store and you buy it with your debit card or a credit card, it'd be $699, same as cash. But if you purchase it with their credit, it'd be $1,039.48. You'd actually be paying $340.48 in interest. This sofa is not worth $700. That's just a basic entry level sofa for $700 or $19.99 a week, which is like, which sounds good, right? It's only 20 bucks a week. $80 a month, 80 times 12 is $960. $960 in a year, and you still wouldn't have this thing paid off. You'd probably have to make two more payments so it would actually be 14 months not 12 months so let's view details here all right offer good while supplies last cannot be combined with any other promotional offer does not include applicable taxes customer must also pay a processing fee of ten dollars wow so they're just nickel and diming you right here and the kicker on this is for whatever reason you stop making payments well, they go and pick up their furniture because you're leasing the furniture. You're not purchasing the furniture. If I can put it into different terms, if you buy something with your credit card, right? And then you default on your credit card. Let's say you bought this furniture with your credit card, right? You default on the credit card. Now you have collections hounding you, right? They're not gonna go knock on your door and pick up this uh, sofa or whatever you bought. You bought a TV, whatever you bought, all right? Collections is just gonna be hounding you, but if you buy with rent -a center you're renting this furniture. You're not actually buying it until it's actually paid in full. So if you default on this, they're not going to have collections calling you. They're going to actually have somebody come to your house and repossess the furniture. So you're, you're going to be out the furniture and whatever money you've already paid into this furniture. All right, let's go into something a little bit more expensive. Let's look at this uh, seven piece bedroom set here. All right, now we're getting into something here. All right, the seven piece bedroom set, $2,000, same as cash price. They do have bi-weekly options, semi-monthly or monthly options. Total cost to own, $3,118.96. So you're paying $1,119.96 in interest for this furniture set. Wow, that's, that's crazy. I can't believe this is legal. You're not paying 20, 30% like you would with the credit card. Uh, if you had a good credit card, you'd be paying maybe five, 6%, right? But understandably, those with bad credit, we're gonna pay higher interest. But to pay $1,000 in interest, that's what, like 50% quick math? I mean, that's crazy. Not to mention, when you buy this furniture set, it's kind of like a car. The value depreciates as soon as you take it off the lot as soon as you set it up in your house and let's say you want to resell it for whatever reason you bought it cash for two thousand you want to sell it you're lucky if you get a thousand dollars for it so it just depreciated by half quick don't believe me go on offer up go on facebook marketplace wherever it is see these types of products that that are selling whatever you're looking to buy see what they're selling for used it's like it's half of the value that that they're selling them for brand new so not only are you out that same as cash price you're out another thousand so right off the bat you're going to be upside down two thousand dollars deals all right let's see let's see some deals here look at this a 55 inch skyworth tv never heard of this brand before <laughs> six hundred dollars for this 55 inch generic brand tv you buy it finance through rent -a center you're paying a thousand dollars for this tv right here okay what i'm about to say i already know that this is only seasonal but during black friday you can get 
uh, off-brand TV, 55 inch, for like 150 bucks. I bought my TV from Best Buy, it's an LG, 75 inch, for $599. The same price as this no-brand, generic, 55 inch. Bought it for the same price. Not to mention, if you finance this, it's $1,039. Let's see the 70 inch Samsung deal it says here 70 inch 4k uhd led smart tv finance two thousand four hundred forty nine dollars and two cents now i wouldn't do it but if you really need to finance something with bad credit i'd probably lean more towards cons i'd stay away from cons altogether but if you're going to do it anyway look at cons because for about two grand maybe a little bit more you can get an 85 inch for more or less the same price you're getting the 70 inch for. Uh, just depends on when you're buying it, what specials are out there, but I've seen an 85 inch for like 22, 2300. Oh, they even sell tools here, okay. Same as cash price. Wow, $1,000 for a drill, a multi-tool, and an impact driver. I have almost the same drill here that I got for $100, DeWalt drill. I might even have it here. I actually do have the drill here. Not because I wanted to show it to you in the video, but it was just here. I got it for $100, right? All these tools here are $100 each if you buy them cash. But finance, $1,000 or 500. That's even expensive if you buy it outright cash. Phones, okay. Galaxy A71, $1,000 for a Galaxy A71. Note 20. Curious to see how much this Note 20 is. <laughs> $2,600. You're almost getting into a, a hoop to use car price right here. I actually bought my son's 0405 uh, Explorer for $1,500. It runs good. That's his daily driver. $1,500 or you can buy a phone for $2,600. Purses. They even have purses here. Please don't buy a purse on credit from Rena Center. Please don't do it. $845. So go on eBay and see how much this Michael Kors bag is right here. Hamilton Large Logo Satchel. It ain't gonna come close to $845. All right, so that's enough of the products. I'm already getting upset looking at all this stuff and how they're taking advantage of people. Let's go ahead and see the terms. You will not own the merchandise until the total amount necessary to acquire ownership is paid in full or you exercise your early purchase option. Ownership is optional. You may purchase a merchandise for 50% of the remaining total cost plus applicable taxes. Choose your ownership option. Option one, own it in four to six months. We'll give you a great discount off your product's original price as long as you complete the payments within four to six months. Option two, early purchase discount. Did you miss your same as cash deadline? Don't worry, we'll still give you a discount off your product's original price if you can complete your payments early. Option three, small fixed payments. Just make your regularly scheduled payments and you'll own the item at the end of your agreement. Option four, pick up where you left off. If for some reason you need to pause your payments, you can get the product back or comparable item and pick up where you left off. Basically that fourth one, means if you can't make that payment you can go turn that item in before they have to come looking for you and collect it and you can come back later and pick up where you left off easy payment options auto pay okay pause payments goes back to what i was just talking about life happens and we're here to help return your item at any time and we'll pause your payments at no penalty when you're ready get the product back or comparable item and pick up where you left off and don't lose the money you already paid. Note, we only store your payment history for two years, so you need to bring your last payment receipt as proof for reinstatement. So you're gonna be paying about 50% interest on something that's gonna lose almost half of its value as soon as you get it home and set it up, get it out the box. So if you can, save some money, buy it cash. Even buy it used, you're gonna save a lot of money. Plus, you're not gonna have that payment every month. In this case, every week. But if you really need to finance, go with somewhere where the interest isn't as high. So I hope this video helped you out. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I want to thank all my subscribers for their continued support. Thanks for watching and check you on the next one.